welcome back to my beauty space. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Natasha. And I want to remind you guys, please, 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 before you leave, do not forget to click the subscribe button. Also click the notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. In today's video, I am doing a Dollar Tree haul. Now this is gonna be all beauty related. I have the receipt and the bag right here. One thing I should also mention, TikTok is gonna get you in a lot of trouble. If you have a TikTok account, this is how I find a lot of my products and what I wanna try out. If you guys want to see my beauty haul from Dollar Tree, please keep watching. I did have to lay all these products out so I can keep them organized because I don't wanna be all over the place. So let me first get into skincare. Now the Dollar Tree has a ton of skincare products that I wanted to try. And like I said, some of these products I've already been using for about two months now, and I'm okay with mentioning them because they have done wonders to my skin. The first product I wanna mention would have to be these Global Beauty Care. This is a pore refining mask. And then I have the Hydrogel face mask. These are amazing. If you kind of just pinch the packaging, there's a ton of product in here. I highly recommend picking up any face mask that they have there and reusing it. They also have brushes that you can use to reapply masks. That's something that you can do in this situation or you could just pour it into your hand and you're good to go. But like I said, my skin has looked amazing since using these products, so go ahead and check these out. The next two skincare products that I've been using for, like I said, the last two months, this is the Skin Nutrients. The first one has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. This is a daytime moisturizer or serum. Now I use this when I'm doing my makeup in the morning. It does say you can use it at night as well, but this is strictly morning for me. And then the second one is the Skin Nutrition. This is the Double Strength Retinol Night Repair Serum. And anything that has retinol in it, you're going to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And so you guys know my age, so I'm trying to stay as young as possible. So I use this only at night. I apply about five drops with both, five drops to my fingertips, rub them together and apply this. Now, if you guys have not seen my pamper routine, I did mention these products there as well. Let me also mention when I wake up in the morning, this does not leave my skin oily at night. Like it doesn't really feel like I have anything on my face, which is good. So I highly recommend you picking up these two products. They go really quick off the shelf. Every time I go to a different Dollar Tree, it's very rare that I can find these. One has a silver package and the other one has like the red lining right here so you can tell the difference, but pick these up. Continuing with skincare, this is an eye roller. This is by the same brand, Skin Nutrition. And this reduces puffiness under your eyes as well as if you have any dark spots under your eyes as well, this is going to help. I use this day and night. I've been working a lot. I put in a ton of hours every week. And when I come on camera, I don't wanna look tired and I could do my makeup, but I just don't want like my bags to show. So this comes in handy. This moves out the shelf quick as well. This is very hard to find in my Dollar Trees, but if you happen to run across this, I've seen some by Garnier that are a little more expensive, but to me, this product works wonders and I love it. This is something I forgot to mention, the Jade Roller. I did use this in my pamper routine and I'm not exactly sure what it does or what it helps. Maybe it stops your skin from sagging by you know pushing your skin up. I put this in the fridge overnight and sometimes in the morning, I will just roll my face after I apply my moisturizers or I'll do it at night before I go to bed. It just feels good. The last skincare product I wanna talk about would have to be my LA Colors. This is a lip scrub. We wanna have those nice, supple, soft lips. And especially when you're wearing a red lip, you always want to exfoliate your lips because you don't want your lips peeling. You don't want your lip liner to find every crease in your lips and decide to hide in there. I use this probably three times out the week just to kind of scrub my lips. But I told you guys in my pamper video, I cannot go to bed without putting some type of moisturizer on my lips. So I either use Carmax or I use the Vaseline with the shea butter. Something has to be on my lips in order to go to bed because waking up with dry lips just doesn't work for me. So if you're looking for an inexpensive lip scrub, LA Colors has a ton at the store. This was the one that I happened to pick up. Oh, and it does smell good. I don't, I can't really, pinpoint the smell. The name of this one is called Fresh. Ah. 
Moving right along, I want to talk about makeup products. And that is like the main reason I started going to the Dollar Tree because I did do a dollar store challenge last year. If you go to the dollar store, not everything in there is a dollar. Some of the stuff could be $5, some of it could be $2. So going to the Dollar Tree, you know everything is going to be $1. The first thing I saw when I approached the LA Colors in Stan were the soothing face primers. I don't know about you guys, I'm obsessed with using a primer. So I moisturize my face and then I add a primer. I don't like my makeup just to sit on my skin. I want to have a little barrier there. So applying any type of primer on your skin definitely separates your makeup, which is good. You don't want your makeup going straight into your pores. So the first one that I did pick up is Clear. So this one's actually a face primer and this is going to minimize your pores. Like I said, it's still in the packaging. I have not used it yet. So the second product that I did pick up from LA Colors is the face primer in green. Green is to neutralize redness. Where do I get redness at? A lot of the time you get red around your cheeks. I've seen people apply it here as well as right under their nose. If you happen to get red there, apply this and then apply your foundation. Make sure you blend this out seamlessly so you cannot see any of the green. To me, this is not just a primer, it's a color corrector. So anywhere that you have a little bit of redness on your skin, this is going to neutralize it. So go ahead and pick this up. The next makeup product I wanna mention is the LA Colors. This is the Liquid Shimmering Highlight. I saw... The next product I wanted to pick up is the LA Colors Liquid Shimmer Highlight. Now this does come in a tube and you would squeeze a little bit on the back of your hand, kind of rub it in and then apply it. You can apply it to your nose, your cupid's bow, and of course your cheekbones. Such a beautiful shade, it's very bronzy. And also too, I like to do my collarbone as well, so I can apply that there. Go ahead and pick this up. I know the Dollar Tree has a ton of LA Color products, but I did see Revlon, I also saw Maybelline, and I saw Wet n Wild Elf. So I'm still walking around the Dollar Tree and I go back to the end stand with the LA Color products and I see the Duo Eyeshadow Pencils. Anytime I see a pencil that has a sharpener on it, I'm like, yes, sis, give it to me. I've already used the blue one and I put this in my waterline today. So let me first mention when using this product, one thing I tend to do is I open up the product place it on the back of my hand to warm it up, and then I put this in my waterline. It's very pigmented. I picked up the shade Simmer, and so it has like a nude and then a brown pencil, and then this one is Firefly, and this one too has a nude pencil and kind of like a pink. Now you can also use these as lip liners as well. So hey, this can be used for so many different things. I say pick them up and just Test them out, let me know how you like them. Let's keep the show going. So I did pick up two finishing powders. One is a loose powder, the other is a pressed powder. The difference is this one's loose. So once you open up the jar, place a little bit of that powder in the cup of this jar. And then this one, you could just swirl your big brush in there and apply it all over your face. With this shade, although it's tan, I'm a little bit lighter than this, so I'm gonna use this as a bronzer. But if this is your skin complexion, go ahead and use it all over your face and bring it down to your neck. If this is too light for you, use it as a setting powder under your eyes and then brush it away after five minutes or to chisel out your cheekbones, use this to set right underneath your cheekbones and you should be good to go. So I had to pick up these two products. Let me just add this really quick. I love lip glosses, but in the summertime, I'm very hesitant with them. And the reason why I am, when it gets too hot, my lip gloss tends to come down to my chin and I'm not exactly sure why. Like I'll literally go like this and I'm like, why is my lip gloss all the way like in the crease of my chin? Like what is going on here? So I did pick up this lip gloss just to add a little bit to my lips so I don't look as matte and I kind of have like that dewy look but they have a ton of cute little lip glosses. I love the packaging. I think it's super cute. Once again, I gotta take another sip. Now to kind of just break this up from LA Colors, they do have some e.l.f. products there, as I mentioned before, and I picked up the lip liners. Now, if you're somebody like me, I have to line my lips. I feel like it makes my lipstick last a lot longer. So the color that I did pick up is Mauve Luxe. 
And then I also got coffee. Now coffee is what is on my lips right now. And also too, these lip liners do come with a sharpener, which is awesome because you always want to sharpen your lip liner before applying it. You don't want any jagged lines on your lips. You want your lips to look beautiful. That is a focal point on your face as well. But this lip pencil glides on very nice. So I can't wait to use the mauve shade when I am trying to do more of a berry lip for a dollar how can you pass this up let's also talk about the makeup brushes that they have at the Dollar Tree I did get two stippling brushes from elf now these are the shorter brushes but it's okay it's a stippling brush stippling brush can help blend out your powder blush as well as blending out your cream contour I use these so much I actually have a ton of these but I just wanted to show you guys the ones in the packaging and also they have some wet and wild brushes now this brush is to smoke out your waterline if you want to or you can use this to pack on eyeshadow to your lid it's up to you use it how you want and then I have a contour brush if you're trying to contour your face so of course you go like this Wait, also contour my forehead. If you can find these brushes at your local Dollar Tree, don't pass them up, just pick them up. Add them to your collection. Trust me, you never know when you're gonna need them. Right now, I have all of the beauty stuff out of the way. I wanna talk about a few products that I've been loving from the Dollar Tree that are a little more on the natural side. Now, I do get headaches, I get body aches, of course. I mean, our bodies go through so much every day and I try not to treat my body with medication as far as like Tylenol, ibuprofen all the time. Sometimes I just want to go the natural route. So I do use the Aroma Guru. This is the Roll-On Muscle Ease. So if I'm having any type of muscle pain in my back, my legs, even on my feet, I definitely pick this up and roll it on the area that I'm in pain and then it just soothes it. Some of the products mentioned in here is eucalyptus, turmeric, and peppermint, and my body feels so good. And like I said, I didn't take a pill to feel that way. Now, if I am feeling like I'm getting a bit of a headache or I'm trying to just stay focused, cause I am working from home right now. And sometimes working from home and I don't have everything I need, I'm like, oh, I'm losing my mind. So that kind of just gives me a headache. So what I do is I take the peppermint and I roll it on my temples. And then I also just roll it kind of like between my wrist, rub it together and it kind of just relaxes me so I'm not as stressed. So anytime I feel that buildup coming, I'm like, let me grab my peppermint. Once I use this, I'm like on my computer, like, okay, let me knock out these emails. Let me knock out, you know, some of the paperwork I need to get through. The last aroma guru I have is tea tree. And this is also for your muscles. So any tension that I feel in my hand because I am typing all day, I'm pretty much on a computer all day long. I roll this on my hands like right here and just the smell of tea tree and once you rub it in, I feel like the tension in my hands are gone. So it could be arthritis that I'm probably fighting and it just feels so much better. They have done wonders for me. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this product, especially if you're trying to go the natural route. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this beauty haul from the Dollar Tree. Like I said, I find some amazing stuff in there and I am truly obsessed now. Please do not forget to thumbs up, share, 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 and subscribe to my channel before you leave. To my OG subscribers, hi, I see you guys. I love you guys for all the support. And for my new subscribers, I'm gonna have some great content this year. So please stick around and share it with a friend. Until my next video, you guys know I miss you when I'm not here. I love you guys and all the support that you show me. Until my next video, bye. Baby, we can do this all night Keep on taking guess and I love